Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the common base configuration of a transistor. So dear students, in the previous lecture, we had discussed what is a transistor, what is a BJT, what are the different configurations. And simply a transistor is used for switching or amplification purpose and the most common purpose of a transistor is the amplification purpose. In the common base configuration, the emitter is the input terminal, the collector is the output terminal and the base terminal is connected as both common terminal for input as well as output. That simply means that the emitter terminal and common base terminal are known as the input terminal whereas the collector terminal and the common base terminal are known as the output terminal. In common base configuration, the base terminal is grounded so the common base configuration is also known as grounded base configuration. Sometimes the common base configuration is referred to as common base amplifier or CB amplifier or CB configuration. The input signal is applied between the emitter and base terminal while the corresponding output signal is taken across the collector and the base terminal. Thus, the base terminal of the transistor is common for both input and output terminal and hence it is named as common base configuration. The supply voltage between the base and the emitter is denoted as VBE while the supply voltage between the collector and the base is denoted as VCB. As mentioned earlier, in every configuration, the base terminal junction that is JE is always forward biased and the collector base junction that is JC is always reverse biased. Therefore, in common base configuration, the base emitter junction JE is forward biased and the collector base junction JC is reverse biased condition. So this condition will result in the amplification of the input current and the common base configuration for both NPN and PNP transistor is shown in this figure. From this circuit diagram of NPN and PNP transistor, it can be seen that for both NPN and PNP transistor, the input is applied to the emitter and the output is taken from the collector. The common terminal for both the circuit is the base terminal. So when it comes to the current flow in a common base amplifier, for the sake of understanding, let us consider the NPN transistor in common base configuration. The NPN transistor is formed when single p-type semiconductor layer is sandwiched between two n-type semiconductor layer and the base emitter junction JE is forward biased by the supply voltage VBE while the collector base junction JC is reverse biased by the supply voltage VCB. Due to the forward bias voltage VBE, the free electrons these electrons are the majority carriers, in the emitter region experiences a repulsive force from the negative terminal of the battery and similarly the holes that is a minority carrier in the base region experiences a repulsive force from the positive terminal of the battery. As a result, these free electrons start flowing from the emitter to base, similarly holes start flowing from base to emitter. Thus free electrons which are flowing from emitter to base and the holes which are flowing from base to emitter contacts electric current. The actual current is carried by the free electrons which are flowing from emitter to base. However, we follow the conventional current direction which is from base to emitter. Thus electric current is produced at the base and emitter region. The free electrons which are flowing from emitter to base will combine with the holes in the base region. Similarly, the holes which are flowing from the base to emitter will combine with the electrons in the emitter region. From this figure, it is seen that the width of the base region is very thin. Therefore, only a small percentage of free electron from emitter region will combine with the hole in the base region and the remaining large number of free electron cross the base region and enters into the collector region. A large number of the free electrons which entered into the collector region will experience an attractive force from the positive terminal of the battery. Therefore, the free electrons in the collector region will flow towards the positive terminal of the battery. 
thus electric current is produced in the collector region the electric current produced at the collector region is primarily due to the free electrons from the emitter region similarly the electric current produced at the base region is also primarily due to the free electron in the emitter region therefore the emitter current is greater than the base current and collector current the emitter current is the sum of base current and collector current and it is represented as ie is equal to ib plus ic that is emitter current is equal to the sum of base current and collector current we know that the emitter current is the input current and the collector current is the output current the output collector current is less than the input emitter current so the current gain of this amplifier is actually less than 1 in other words the common base amplifier attenuates the electric current rather than amplifying it the base emitter junction that is je at the input side act as a forward biased diode so the common base amplifier has a low input impedance that is a low opposition to the incoming current on the other hand the collector base junction jc at the output side act somewhat like a reverse bias diode so the common base amplifier has a high output impedance the transistor with low input impedance and high output impedance provide a high voltage gain even though the voltage gain is high the current gain is very low and the overall power gain of the common base amplifier is low as compared to the other transistor amplifier configurations the common base transistor amplifier are primarily used in the application where low input impedance is required the common base amplifier is mainly used as a voltage amplifier or current buffer this type of transistor arrangement is not very common and is not as widely used as other two transistor configuration the working principle of pnp transistor with cb configuration is same as the npn transistor with cb configuration the only difference is in npn transistor free electron conduct most of the current whereas in pnp transistor the whole conduct the most of the current the fully described behavior of a transistor with cb configuration we need to set a characteristic they are input characteristic and output characteristic and we will discuss in detail about these input and output characteristic of cb configuration in the upcoming lecture so my dear students hope you had understood this configuration that is cb configuration of transistor so dear students kindly write down this assignment question our question is write detailed notes on common base configuration of a transistor so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the input characteristic and output characteristic of cb configuration so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best